Hi guys, this is Sam One Filipino ninety five here, and I brought my roommate with me. Introduce yourself, sir. Hi, I'm I'm Jacob Milano Wexler, and these are our NXT Takeover San Antonio predictions. Okay, just to let you guys know, opinions incoming. Now, if you don't like it, we have two words for you. And take a guess what it is. Yes, we are both WWE fans, major WWE fans. Anyway, here is our opening match. Our opening match is Roderick Strong and Andrade Cien Almas. Now, the thing is, the guy on the on the right is facing the guy on the left, but the guy on the left has been multiple time world champion. It would make sense that he wins regardless because he's had more of. A push. Prediction? A push. Roderick Strong. Yep. Next match. Again, Eric Young is on the right versus the Perfect Ten on the left. Eric Young has been world champion. Again, I say world champion's going to come out on top. But then again, um, the Perfect Ten has been able to put himself over with the fans. He's kind of like the Zack Ryder of NXT, just minus the internet championship and minus the internet show. So I say Perfect Ten Ty Dillinger. Eh. Okay. Next match. Next match. Oh, very dear. Oh, dear God. So we've got the Authors of Pain versus Hashtag DIY. Now, Hashtag DIY just won the NXT Tag Team titles. It would not be fair for them to lose it. But then again, the Authors authors of Pain are known as the Authors of Pain. My prediction, Authors of Pain. My prediction, Hashtag DIY. Next. Oh, very dear, even more. Oh, God. They've given Asuka such a huge push that it's kind of impossible to stop her. Yes. So, against these three women, um... If Mickey James couldn't do it... If Mickey Toronto, James couldn't do it by herself, who is a former women's champion... Who's gonna stop her? Who's gonna stop Asuka? I don't think these three will. No. No. Final match, please. Final match. Oh, oh. We've got Mr. Glorious and Versus. King of Strong Style. Bobby Roode has been a former world champion. But so has Nakamura. But, but so has Nakamura. The only thing is, Nakamura is a better athlete than Bobby Roode. So this could go either way. It, it could go either way. My prediction is Nakamura. Well, honestly, I feel like there's nothing left for Nakamura to accomplish. So this could be a good time for Nakamura to get called up. Maybe even the night after WrestleMania. Yeah, that would be good. But we need to we need to give him more time. So those are our NXT TakeOver San Antonio predictions. Yep. See you tonight, everybody. See ya.